what's going on YouTube? It's Kevin and Mikkel with our special guest, Dennis. Dennis is back by popular demand. You know, a lot of people kept asking, when is he coming back? And then, you know, some people was hating on him, but I'm not for the hating. I bet not hate on my friend in this video. I'm not for it. So anyway, you I want y'all to start this video all by clicking the thumbs up button and share our shit. Share our shit on Facebook and Twitter. And don't be that lazy. It only take a click and a second to say, look at the Scorpion Mikkel. Put it on your Facebook, tweet it, share it on YouTube, leave a comment. Don't leave this video without leaving a comment. It's going to be a good video. We got some good topics for y'all. Whitney Houston, Chris Brown, and Rihanna. Those are the main topics. But, um, you know, how was your Valentine's Day? I worked. <laughs> Damn. I was around. Yeah, it was dry. I don't believe in Valentine's Day. Ah, nah. <clears throat> for single so no, you don't believe in Valentine's I Day. I guess because I've been single for so long, but yeah. Well, it's not that you don't believe it. It's just that you don't have anybody to, to enjoy it with. And then I'm always working on Valentine's Day, regardless oh, if it, it, whatever day it falls. Yeah, it's, 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 I'm always working. Yeah, but I work three to eleven, so can't complain. Michael, you you didn't do anything right. <laughs> <laughs> like okay, just throw me out. No, 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 cause you over there twiddling on your damn phone. No, I'm not. Uh -uh, you should. I'm trying. It's texting me. <laughs> trying. Tell him no text you. <laughs> well, anyway, um, of course, no, I didn't do anything. I went to work like I always do, and then I went to church on uh, Valentine's Day because I had to go to this class at church. So I didn't do anything. I spent. Valentine's Day with the Lord. Kevin Hyde, because he had a date. No, I'm not. Oh, <laughs> that's why he asked about me. How did you know that? No, I just wanted to know how was your Valentine's Day. Then he tweeted, oh, date and it's fun. First of all, you know that, fine. First of all, you know that I'm single. So what, yeah. what else would I be doing on Valentine's Day? Nah, I know, because yeah, everybody, 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 everybody. You try to be smart. Everybody. Lift your friend. lips. I know they are really chat. Yeah, they are. <laughs> don't judge me. I'm just saying. I don't know where my text is. I'm going to let you know. Thank you. I don't know where my text is. Why would I let somebody stick their finger in my blister that I gotta head. put on my lips? I'm gonna make sure I got it before I go in that bus to DC tonight. I know that. I but hope so. Don't be in that okay. club with chapped lips. Girl. Okay. Because you have the first thing that's on Twitter is it sitting on Instagram. You bitch. like to kiss. No, I don't. He's <laughs> <laughs> trying it. He is oh, I forgot you're dating now. I'm no, no, hold up now. Hold up now. Let, let me tell you something. I did go out on Valentine's Day. I went to the movies to go see Pariah. Um, it's a what? movie about a lesbian who who wants to come out, but you know, um, she's an outcast, and her mother don't agree with her being a lesbian, and she's trying to you know explore lesbian sex for the first time. So y'all gotta see that movie. It's an independent film, but it's really good, and Kim Wayne's in it, and she plays a dramatic oh, role. She plays I'm, a mom. Yeah, I've never seen her she's in a dramatic role before. It's really good. Who's Kim Wayans? Kim Wayans. The Wayans. Oh, Wayans. I just said Wayne. Who is no, Wayans, huh? Who was you with? Um, I don't have a boyfriend, but I did go. I'm, I'm going to say his name on the I show. I thought you said t dating was fun. I, it is fun. Well, is dating is fun. No, it's not my boyfriend. Let me tell you something. Last Thursday, he, you, last Wednesday he was with. I went out. That was a date. And oh, was, so you was. So it's Let two me tell you people. something. It's two different people. Uh, it's, but it's three different people. But uh, no. <laughs> oh yeah. Let me tell you something. Yeah, dead in this fun, okay? You get the flip flop, but y'all gonna leave me alone. <laughs> but it wasn't the the Valentine's Day really wasn't like a date day. It's like you know first time we can go, <laughs> so we had a good time. And then how about I had to talk to the boyfriend. Who's boyfriend? Girl, it's, it's, it was some shade. Oh, 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 see? Oh, 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 oh. I said, no. Oh, 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 oh. You went on a date with somebody and that then has a boyfriend. Wow. Yes. So was it, was it a date in both of your eyes? Because uh, I know last Wednesday you said you, you to me to me a date and then he was like me, anytime you go out with someone and it's just two people that's a date to me that's a date. Well, I'm, just, don't, I don't do it because. Don't. 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 
don't. And that's all I'm gonna say. But I don't mean, but first of all, it. it was no, it wasn't. I wasn't even in, involved in like no. Well, no, I understand. Yeah, I but just, you know, I, I mean, Alicia time. Keys said the same thing too. No, we went to the bar. Like we I'm went to the saying, bar. I'm just saying. You know, uh, like, Brandon yeah. came over. Keenan came. Like we just had a good time. Oh, oh so Brandon approves of you hanging with someone else's boyfriend. Excuse me? I'm no, just saying. I'm trying, my friend. <laughs> what was I? You didn't come home Valentine's night. Ain't nobody told me he was, You were at work. You just I got up at 11, but if they would have been You like, got up at 11 o'clock at night, and yeah. you're worried about where you were at? They, I, I always get off and go hang out with the them. The day is over at 11, okay? So I'll, I'll let you ask the question. No, no, no. No, 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 why? Okay, so if y'all were just out as like cool as friends, mm -hmm. then didn't you think that was a little weird that he never told you that he had a boyfriend when you found out he had one? No, I never had this. I what? <laughs> I never had. I, I no. understand, but you mean to tell me so y'all never talked about all uh, your past relationships or nothing like that? Mm -mm. So okay, I want you to be so, honest. Go ahead. What did you think when you when he when the boyfriend called and he said, "Oh, I'm his boyfriend"? Like, what did you did you think? Like, oh wait. Why didn't you tell me okay, anything? Let me did you ever something. think that? I didn't think anything. All I was saying was, that's your boyfriend. Me and him not doing anything. We hanging out. We drinking. We having a good time. We went to the movies. Did the boyfriend we ask to speak to you? Who? What? Did he ask to speak? Like, how did you get the phone? I, I think he did want to speak to me. I don't know. in my ear who this person is. No, but no. the only thing is, the only thing I'm is. Sure you can say it after we're done. <laughs> the only thing is, my main, my main question is. If it's Valentine's Day, you should be with your boyfriend. Exactly. That was something. And that, that, that was the main thing that I and said. What did he say? I didn't have nothing else to say. To no, that. not you. What did he say when you asked that? What could he say? Have I you didn't. I don't. What? Since. Yeah. yeah. He just did. Why are you not so? keeping up? I said yes so. when you asked that. <laughs> well, see, that's why you need to act. Let me ask. No, because if you got my ear yelling with the hand and stuff, I would have heard when he. Oh no! Oh no, no, sweetie, you on my show. <laughs> that ain't that. <laughs> Wendy told Alvarosa. <laughs> Well, we're also got Wendy together, though. Mm -hmm. And on try. that note, thanks for coming on my, my show. show. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was still, it was a fun time. You, you know, know what, Kevin? Time. I'm glad. But no, for me, I, I say the dating life is, is fun. It's fun, like, because I, I never be going out. You know, I never go out. I don't want to be trying to test the waters and none of that stuff. But I'm having a good time. I think for know? me, I think me personally, I would have been a little. I think after I got off the phone with the person's boo, I would have been like a little uncomfortable. For me, because then it it's like a, it's almost like a, like Let it's like you got something. hit from behind. Like wait, wait, what? You got a boo boyfriend? You didn't tell me. Like why didn't you tell me that? Even if he didn't think it was a big deal, you know. Because then now to me, it seems like now you're being sneaky. Like well, wait, why? No, you don't have to be sneaky. This is my thing. You. <laughs> only only thing I got to say is and 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 I, and I don't want to I don't want to be in that like I don't want to get in a relationship, relationship or none of that. Yeah, I understand. But that. I'm just saying that when you got somebody good, don't f it up. That's all I'm gonna tell you. And don't fuck it up. Yeah, that's in the name of RuPaul, because <clears throat> that person is good, a good guy, and that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> so that was my Valentine's Day. Now let's talk about um, other people relationships. Chris Brown. <laughs> now, before we talk about Rihanna and Chris Brown, let's talk about the backlash from Chris Brown winning a Grammy. <laughs> I have something to say. To who? To this. Let me do an open letter to the <laughs> entertainment industry. An open video. You know, a lot of you guys are so worried about Chris Brown you know, getting the Grammy, you know, y'all wanted Chris Brown out the music industry. Y'all try to replace him with Jason Derulo. You know, nobody can compare to Chris Brown. No. Chris Brown is that motherfucking boy. Chris Brown is that boy. And, you know, I was really thinking, I said, if it wasn't for Chris, if it's not Chris Brown, then who? Then who? You need somebody like Chris Brown. Chris Brown is easy in the eyes. Chris Brown can sing. He can dance. He's a great entertainer. There is nobody out right now that can hold a match to Chris Brown. Mm -hmm. Usher is on his way out. Usher can't dance like he used to. He's, he got some great pop songs, but nobody is comparing to Chris Brown right now. So you can't, and you know what? You, know, you can't keep a good man down. He went through what he went through. That was three years ago. And mind you, he was in a teenage mindset. 
Now, y'all two MFers before cursed me out about, you know, the teenage brain, the adult brain, and everything. So, what he did to Rihanna, he was in the teenage mindset. And to me, what him and Rihanna had, I think they both were abusive to each other. Well, well let me just stop you. I don't think it's teenage mindset, immature. Same because, thing. No, it's no, not, not the same, same thing. thing but you I'm got just some saying. adults who are older and they're immature, but it's not like they're because you got some teenagers who are very mature and don't act like teenagers. Mm -hmm. You know, they're mature. So I think it's a immature mindset, not a teenage mindset. But he still he still was a teen. Yeah, but he was immature. He still was yeah, and still is from time to time. Well, yeah, you can't, can't <laughs> stop that. But you know what? But so what? So was Kanye West, and that man is in his thirties. So, so it's, it's like, why do y'all keep trying to hold him down? Y'all didn't want his music playing on the radio. Y'all didn't want his videos played on TV. And then y'all couldn't replace him. You couldn't hold it down. So he's releasing this good music. You have no choice but to play it. He put out great videos. You have no choice but to play it. He's not worrying about Rihanna. Rihanna's not worrying about him. What's going on? I don't know. Because I'm, I'm not playing no games. Why are you I'm talking. At me? <laughs> so <laughs> I'm really trying to get this video done and get out of here. So you know, Chris Brown. Chris Brown is just that boy. Like y'all, y'all can't hold him down. And I don't understand why y'all keep trying to hold him down. He did his thing. He paid his debt to society. Let him move on. Get on to what Miranda Lambert said. <laughs> Did you see? No, that I don't want to get onto what he said. Oh, she, no, I said my It's just that I just don't understand why. Like, she had more than one tweet. Oh, I don't keep. She keep. She was going you know, in the country self. No, no, it's not just Miranda Lambert. It's the whole fucking industry. Oh, were we ready to give him a Grammy? And should he even be allowed to be on that stage? Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. It's a lot of them white entertainers out there beating on their wives, out there still making movies and doing their damn not thing. That, still doing drugs too. Yeah, and y'all not saying shit about that. Oh, should Chris Brown, um, should he win that Grammy due to his past behavior? Who gives a fuck about your behavior? It's all about your work. The music. Yes, it's about your, it's just, yeah, that, the work. His the personal fuck? his personal life should not affect his music. And you know the first time I music. the first time I ever heard that Natalie Cole said I don't think that Amy Winehouse deserved those Grammys because she was on drugs. Yeah. And I said what the, the fuck? The on the couch Them black. drugs got to do with the motherfucking music. Natalie Cole, she you was getting high out. with Whitney and Chaka. How did she almost die because she was getting so high? Oh mm. dear, but you know, you know. So like, it, it feels like they're rewarding bad behavior. It's not rewarding no damn bad behavior. Well, was I rewarding bad behavior when I went out and buy, bought your album? Wait, is the, gra is the Grammys based <laughs> on what your peers think or is the people the vote? The peers, the peers vote for you. Yeah, your so, peers. All right, all yeah, right. but they basically work. They're, they're, they're supposed to be voting for your music. Music, music. music right. right. Now, a lot of people <laughs> said that Chris Brown won his Grammy. <laughs> Because it was a popularity thing, because they felt no, as though a lot of people in his category, some people in his category, should have won over him rather than him winning. Which I can say, okay, but well, that's a fair argument because mm -hmm. you're judging you something. No, listen, I right. think that's a fair argument only because those people saying that are judging the music, the quality of the work. They're not saying, oh, I think Chris Brown, they should have won because Chris Brown's a bad guy. They're just saying that I think that. Let's just say a lettuce he should have won over Chris Brown because her music is a little bit more mature, mature and R and B rather than Chris Brown's. And I said, okay, but that's a fair argument. That's a fair argument. But I think this whole argument of oh his bad behavior should we be giving him a Grammy? First of all, that's not even a question that should even be asked because you sound stupid asking the question. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like when Wendy. People said that Wendy Williams was taken up for Chris Brown on her show. She probably was, but I think that was an immature question to even ask. Don't even ask it. Let it go. You see, because now you're adding a little bit fuel to the fire. Now you have people out there, well, was he supposed, should he have won? Why? What difference does it make? You see what I'm saying? Like, it's stupid. Poor Chris Brown, that's... What do you think? Chris Brown is, is well overdue for Chris Brown. He deserved it. He put time in in this industry. Majority of everybody that he was in the category with, you know, he's been... Is this his first Grammy? Mm -hmm. It's his first Grammy. Oh, He's been in the industry longer than him. It's well overdue. He deserves it. His music is good. The numbers is good. So the album did good. 
Kudos to you, Chris Brown, but at the same time, we cannot ignore the facts. Yeah, he did beat Rihanna. He beat the shit out of Rihanna. Yeah, but what does that have to do with him winning the Grammy? I'm just saying that like, he's going to have to live with that for the rest he of his life. He is going to have to live with that for the rest of his life. But does that, have to, but does that mean that we have to keep you throwing it at keep, his face? Yeah, no, I, I don't throw it at his face. He, 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 he may get you, know what, you know, when people do stuff like that, it makes people who do have things that they may want to get off their chest, mm -hmm. make them not want to get it off their chest I mean, because they're afraid that it may be people keep throwing it back and forth in their face. Just well, like just Chris like, Brown don't care anyway. No, he does. He does care. He does care. Yes, he does care because every time somebody brings it up, he responds to it. And then when he responds to it, the people say, "Oh, look at him! Look at him all angry and everything. Why he's so angry? Why is he so angry? Because y'all keep going in on him about something that happened three years ago, when both Whitney and Michael Jackson were still alive. They're no longer here. So therefore, you need to let it go. This all happened before Michael Jackson even died. Like, let it." Go. It let me tell you something. Over and down let me tell you something. Michael Jackson drug story and Whitney Houston her drug problem is something that you can never just let go. It's something that needs. No, to no, be, no. I'm not uh, saying no, 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 no. What I just said, that's not what I. That's not. Okay. I, was, I was making a point as in they were alive when this happened. That's the point that I was trying Meaning to make. It was so long Meaning ago. it was so long ago that I wasn't saying that their drug thing was something. <laughs> you really didn't catch what I was saying. You really didn't catch the analogy. No, I heard, you, I heard what you're saying, but no, I'm saying you didn't when catch it comes what to no, when it comes to when it comes to Chris, not Chris Brown, when it comes to the Whitney Houston, the drug thing, and just letting it go, it's not something that no, that, no, that's not what I was saying. I was saying that the Chris Brown beating up Rihanna was so long ago. Three that's years, when Michael yeah. Jackson was still alive. That meaning that it happened so long ago that you should just. It's something that should be let go because that happened so long. Michael Jackson was still walking this earth when that happened. Meaning that's how long ago it was. But, you know, I mean, I do think that to a degree it should, no. I do think it should be something that should just be, like, leave it alone. Like, he, I, that's he went what I just said. I agree with you. But, but the, the I don't, I didn't understand your Whitney Houston and Michael Jackson. It's a, no. it's a pivotal point it's, in Chris Brown's life. So regardless, when he get older... Where if you make a movie, whatever you it's, do, it's, it's always, always going to come back because it's a pivotal point in his life. No, like winning the Grammy. Listen, my Michael Jackson analogy was just like when I made that analogy about Brandy's thing. Remember when I said Brandy? Last time Brandy had a hit was when I had hair. That's what I was trying to say. That's how long ago that was. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Brandy had a hit. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. That's how long ago that was. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. That's how long ago that was. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. That's how long ago that was. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. That's how long ago that was. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. That's how long ago that was. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. That's how long ago that was. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. That's how long ago that was. Oh, I think it, Chris Brown has moved on. I think we all have, we especially all have moved the on. black media. Let me let me put it like this: the black media has been moved on. Okay, we right now we're mourning Whitney Houston. Okay. We don't give a fuck about, about Chris Brown and Rihanna, and you know Chris Brown being on Rihanna's song. You know how we feel about but it. But wait, I look at it different from on Rihanna's song. We can get to no, that. But we, we could get to that. But let me tell you how I feel about it. So the fuck what? what? <laughs> you know, Ciao. Rihanna. Rihanna is at a point where she is. She is this big time rebel. She <laughs> goes against Everything. what's right. Okay, she does what a lot of people that are media trained wish they could get away with. She could get away with all of that. She could do a lot. She could do a lot. You know, and I do feel that they want Rihanna to be this. Oh, um, Chris Brown beat me. Don't ever support him, and uh, but you know I will never work that. with him. I don't ever want to see him again. I don't ever want to be in the same mm -hmm. award show with him. Y'all should have all known that Rihanna had a change of heart mm -hmm. when they was um at Ellen, not Ellen House, at Diddy House on them damn jet skis, and you know whooped her ass. <laughs> they <laughs> still <laughs> hanging together. Okay, let me tell you, somebody fucked me up like that. Ain't gonna be. No ain't gonna be no hanging out. Because yeah. if we jet skiing, the only Man. jet skiing we gonna do is be riding over here. As many times I wanted to beat this bitch up on my right, you know. Y'all you, you was gonna fight before? No, I'm talking about chill. Oh. On my far <laughs> right. <laughs> On my, on to your left to y'all, but as many times I want to whip his ass. That ain't gonna happen. If we ever fist fight, I don't think we're gonna. And I'm not really fucking up. I don't think he's gonna. If you really fuck me up, me. you mean if I really fuck no, you no, up? No, 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 no. Of these glasses go off. So. Oh, that's oh, that's know. the end of. No, okay. And no, once no, you, no, no. Because I don't want to do so bad. I'm gonna whip your ass so bad. Move your ass so bad. You gonna think you're the Tommy Robinson? Oh, where my girl go? Yeah, well, I'm gonna tell you where. Uh-uh, girl. 
My money's on Kevin only because I've seen Kevin. Okay, and I don't even want to fuck with you Kevin. You know what? You know what? Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Me tell you something. <laughs> he is no joke. Let me tell you something. And I am no joke either. I don't know. I've never okay? seen that. And I am no either. joke either. Oh, what you gonna and put the glasses yeah, up? Yeah, because if you keep oh. testing me, this hat's gonna come off. Then you better watch it. Keep it cute. Or what is the fuck on, on me? Yeah. All right, put right. it on me. Because you are a guest. Yeah. So you said you feel some type of way about Rihanna. Go ahead. Uh, I just, I just look at it like I feel like Chris Brown. Kid, it's not like he can get a pat on his back, but let it go. But what Rihanna is that Rihanna got girls. That ain't nobody looking up to Chris Brown. To be true, yes, yes, they are. I don't know. Young guys are. I don't think young guys are looking up to Chris Brown. And if they are, it's different when a young girl is looking up to an older female like like Rihanna. Rihanna got people looking up to her. So but I like, think I think people are looking up to Chris Brown and Rihanna in the wrong for the wrong reasons. <laughs> I think oh, young guys. Yeah. I think you got young guys looking up to Chris Brown and saying, "Well, look." He, he did that and he got away with it. It was girls on Twitter. I can get away with that. Mm -hmm. When they looking up to the girls look up to Rihanna. Oh, look at her. She knows no boundaries. That bitch do what she wanna do. I live for that. I'ma do that too. I like that type of bitch, but she don't care what nobody say about her. I'ma do that too. In the summertime, I'ma wear me some short shorts and some knee-high boots and just get away with it. I think people are looking up to them for the wrong reasons. There are people looking up to them, just ain't for the right reasons. Yeah, and the girls looking up to Chris Brown for the wrong reasons. Reason too. Chris Brown to beat them. Yeah, right. beat you can beat me. Beat beat me. Beat me. Beat me. <laughs> you beat me. Go higher. <laughs> beat me. <laughs> Did you wanna beat me? You wanna punch me in my how much you pay? Mm -mm. Oh, sorry. But it, there are some girls that are not happy unless they're getting beat. Yeah, Cause yeah. that's how they know that he loves her. Uh, and it's know. a shame that there's some women. It's women out there that like that shit. They rather have a black eye than to look pretty with a regular yeah. eye. You know? Like, they, you need, know they need they need their ass whooped. Like he don't be hitting me, I be walking yeah. into the punches. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not for those type of relationships. I wish my niece would come in here with some bullshit like that. Which I'm fucking them up. <laughs> I don't play those type of games. I've seen it with my sister, and, and as long as I'm an adult, I am an adult now, <laughs> I ain't gonna never let that happen to no, nobody in my family. I've seen a lot of shit, and there's been plenty of times where I wish I could fight for my sister. But, you know, that's a long time ago. She ain't got to go through that. But if she did, I'm right there. And I'm fucking that nigga up. We well, nucking yeah. and, and bucking and ready I, to I don't fight. play those games. I don't play that, that hit game, all that fighting shit. I don't play that. But, you know, I do believe in forgiveness. And Rihanna forgives Chris Brown. Yes. But the media will not let Rihanna forgive Chris Brown. Or now Rihanna is weak. And, you know, they, they want, people want to just talk. People are going to talk. Rihanna, do your motherfucking thing. It's about a money thing. You causing controversy now. And what do controversy creates? Cash. <laughs> Cake is going to sell a lot of records. It's going to go to number one on iTunes. I don't think Rihanna's going to get no damn backlash. You know, what, if Chris Brown's on it? He yeah. is on it. Yeah, he is on it. Well, I thought they said, I thought he was no, it's, it's confirmed. It's confirmed. Oh, it is confirmed? It's confirmed. It's confirmed. Ah! It's confirmed. He is on it. <laughs> <laughs> But then we say that on this show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said it's gonna it's gonna get everybody talking. They want they want Rihanna to be their poster child for domestic violence. Is that and, trash? Yeah, and they want it's, it, and they look Excuse at Chris me. Brown as once a beater, always a beater. But that's not true. Just like once a drug drug addict, you always a drug addict. That's not true. So, you know, people change. I think that you should forgive people and we should move on yeah. and not ridicule them for their past. Like, if you want to forgive him, if you want to allow him to still be on your record label, you still going to have him perform on award shows or be on your charts, like, don't don't disrespect him by bringing up his past. It's over with. It's well, done. I think the record label should do a better job at supporting him. Yeah, like, I'm, when these people come out there and say these nasty things about him, they should come out there and put out some type of statement and say, you know, look, this is still our artist, and yeah, he did what he did, and he went through what he went through. He's moved on. Rihanna's moved on. The big question is, why can't you seem to move on? Mm -hmm. You know, I just think that this whole thing with Chris Brown having to keep defending himself by himself, I think it's a little sad because, you know, the record label should be out there, yeah. you know. Chris Brown got a lot of support from his peers. And a lot of people, yeah, but Chris Brown is the only one that you hear that's the most vocal about it. Like, a lot of people support him silently, 
You know what I mean? Like, of course, there's a lot of celebrities out there that support him, but you don't see them getting on Twitter or getting on the news and saying, oh, we support him, y'all should let him go. Yeah, I mean, they, they will hop on his record. Yeah, though. but they'll hop on he his record. He actually got a new Twitter, and he probably only tweeted like four He does have a new Twitter. Well, do? no, he doesn't have a new Twitter, I think, because I'm still, I never, I never pushed follow on that Twitter, but he, I'm still following him. I just think maybe he... Is it mechanical? It's not mechanical dummy. It's just regular Chris Brown? Yeah. It's Chris Brown in his real part. No. Well, I want I do want to say I do like his new video, Turn the Music Up. He's Everybody fucking, seems to like it. I didn't see it. He's, he's killing it. He always kill it, but the dance moves in this one, they just really, really good. Oh, Chris Brown, I just want you to stop lip syncing. I just can't. I no, I mean, why not? What's wrong with that? It kills me. I just... Well, maybe he's not that strong of a vocalist when he sings live and dances. So because you got to realize something. He's a heavy dancer. Why does he do his lip sync? Yeah, but he's a heavy dancer. I mean, I can't really get upset with him for lip syncing only because of the fact that when I look at Chris Brown on an award show, I look at him ready to sing. I mean, dance. Mm -hmm. If he going to sing, if he going to sing a song, I would expect, I would expect him to just sing like him. Maybe you but right. if he's getting on there dancing, I'm not saying to myself, oh, I hope he sounds good. No, because well, he's not Well, let me rephrase it. Maybe Chris Brown should get better at lip syncing. Because if you want to lip sync, I well, should maybe, be able yeah, to tell. Maybe he should get better maybe at lip syncing. Maybe he needs to get better. Because I'll be living like But when I watch him perform live, I'm watching him for his yeah. dance moves. I'm watching him. I, I, I love music. I want to hear. I'm not there for the dance. So I can't do it. So I don't want to fuck Well, truth be told, let's be, let's be 100% honest. Okay? No, none of the music today or none of the singers today are like how they were back in the day where they sang and all that type of stuff. Now, anybody's a singer, everybody's a singer. You don't know who's really a singer or who ain't really a singer because they let anybody say that they're a singer. So it's like, I mean, in this, in our age, in, in our today, day and age, yeah. it doesn't, it, the you know, don't matter it don't, doesn't matter, it didn't matter, it doesn't matter like it did when Aretha and Gladys and Patty and Shaka and Whitney and Mariah, when all of them were out. When all of them were out, that's what they did, they sang. And when they got on the award show, they sang live. Did you say Mary? But Mary wasn't out when they were, during their heyday. Well, Mary had just come out. She like came a, out the late 80s. No, no, Mary, Mary came out in the 90s, 90s. Early 90s. Early 90s. Mary came out after uh, Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey came out in 1990. Uh -huh. <laughs> don't, 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 I, know, I know my legends. That's one thing I do know is my legends. I may not know the new girls, because you know, I only know Beyonce, but I know my legends. Don't do it, sis. <clears throat> <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> Yeah, so all, I, so so all of those people out there trying to put down Chris Brown for media attention, please stop it. Yeah, please. Miranda Lambert. Okay, because mm -hmm. I did not know who you were on that red carpet at the Grammys. I knew who you was. I didn't. Blake Shelton's wife. Oh, is that who she is? From oh, the, she's his wife. From the that's, all I knew. that's all, yeah, she's his wife. Oh, mm -hmm. isn't that, what's her name? I don't know, but I know she's Blake Shelton's wife. wife. You okay, mm -hmm. if you know her from somebody, being somebody's wife, that's not a good no. But wait, but at the same time, maybe she feels a certain type of way because maybe she knows somebody that got abused. Okay, but then okay, yeah, why? But that has so, nothing to do with Chris Brown. I'm just saying, maybe she's so opinionated about it because... Well, she should, you know what, maybe she, she shouldn't be her. opinionated. She's maybe not her damn business. Her mind, but it's a difference But what does that have to do, it. but what does Chris Brown winning or Grammy have to do with him beating up Rihanna? Not that has it. nothing to do with it. Listen. That's just like... That's just like Wendy Williams. Because, no, let me just because say it last occurred three years ago on the day before the Grammys. Okay, look, 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 okay, so let me just... This Charlie part. Sheen beat up his this wife. Yeah. Mike Tyson beat up his bitch. Yeah. James Brown beat up yeah. his, his bitch. And Bobby, Bobby Brown, Brown spit on Wendy with her ass. Okay, so what? So what? I mean, I know it's not so no, what. It's not really, it's but not I'm so what. But I know, I know what you're yeah. saying. But look, look first, first of all, you keep trying to hold him down. Okay, yeah, you holding him down. This is how I feel about it. Wendy Williams was a big time drug addict. And what does she have now? A big major TV show on the network. Do you hear me saying, why would you put a drug addict, a former <laughs> drug addict on TV? No, why? Because that was in her past. Okay. That happened in her past. She got over that and she overcame it. Chris Brown beat up Rihanna in his past. He overcame it and let it be. I wouldn't dare call, what station is Wendy on? <laughs> She's on Fox. I wouldn't dare call Fox and say, excuse me, I, I don't mean to waste your time, but why do you have a former drug addict on TV? with her own show. I wouldn't dare say that because it makes no sense. You know why? Because the key word is former drug addict, okay? She's a former drug addict. She's not still doing it. Chris Brown beat up Rihanna in 2009 when Michael Jackson was still alive. Let it go. Mm -hmm. well, hopefully they let it go. No, you need to let it go too because you... I'm not holding it against Yes, them. you are. I can just hear it all in you. You are. No, I'm not. Chris yes, Brown, do you. Do you. But, 
Yeah, yeah, but, 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 no, yeah, yeah, but, 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 I'm just saying you gotta look at it from everybody's point of view. That's I am looking at everybody's point of view. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, we I, didn't have a point of view. You wanna have this platform, you, know you wanna voice your opinion, yeah. look at it from but everybody's point of view. Perfect example, perfect example. We Kim can't. Kardashian fuck Ray J on tape. You don't hear them keep saying porn star, former porn star Kim Kardashian. You but barely even hear about that fucking stuff. I hear about it. But all they do, the time. but they do throw it in yes, her face. They do, they do throw yes, it in her face do. because they try to make it seem like, oh, that's that I mean, even that's though the fame. Yeah, that was her claim to fame, even though she wasn't the one who released it. It was him who released it. I feel as though I feel like this. Ray if J Kim ain't released Kardashian, it. Well, who didn't? Who did? It was Ray J's friend. Okay, but but Ray J didn't stop it from being released. It was already out. Ray J had a in radio interview where he played the voicemails of Kim Kardashian calling him and asking him, could he please try to get that out? And he didn't want to. Ray J thought it was funny. He thought it was so funny that Kim Kardashian was begging him not to have that tape released. And I think that's sad because a lot of people point the finger at her and was like, oh, but, it's, but she didn't want it released. Because this was something that she did with her boyfriend at the time. Oh but yeah, her childish ass boyfriend thought it was funny and, and had his friend release it. He tried to hit his friend and he, he, he got wanted mad. to blow up. And he got mad and around, she blew up. blew up. But he tried to capitalize on it because in yeah, his video. Yeah, he did try to capitalize on it. I watched I had that one interview. Wish, he, you know, he, I, let me tell you something. I watched the interview and, and he pulled out his cell phone and played all these voicemails and read the text messages of her begging him. I said, why would, you, why would anybody want to be with somebody like that? But like you said about Chris Brown. That was in Ray J younger and mature days. Damn, no, 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 he still is immature. You and Whitney used to do it. That's why she was dating. You tried. Whitney knew he was immature. You know what? You know what? Whitney used to date Ray J because he reminded her of a young Bobby Brown. No, the, yeah, he was yeah. Slanging. No, I don't do with Ray J slanging. Let me tell you something. I ain't never seen nothing big and black in my life. Well, then you need contact. You know what? To wear these because you. <laughs> it was long, but it wasn't like. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about Ray J's manhood because I could care less about it. Kim Kardashian was born in all streets. He said Ray J grew up at like three months ago. He was out there cursing out fabulous on that radio station. Oh, <laughs> I was being sarcastic when I said that. And he wasn't that. sober. Oh, you were being sarcastic, right? Yeah, you know, I was just trying I, to make no, a point. I don't know. Mind you, you, mind you, you ain't see Ray J out until he was back with Whitney Houston. Okay. And then, you know, since we remember Ray J being on that stuff back then, now it's like, what the fuck was you doing with Whitney, bitch? You oh, better not show your face. Oh, don't try my sis Whitney. Don't try, her. girl. Don't do that, girl. Okay. Bitch, how about we sit down? I was watching sister. our video. I was watching our video from a year ago. <laughs> when we were talking about Whitney going we back in rehab. Let's go to Whitney Houston. <laughs> Cause we went in, bitch. I feel bad a little bit. Well, you know, everybody had their opinion. Yeah, everybody. Everybody we went. And guess yeah. what? Whitney didn't give a. But at the end of the day, we wanted her to get back. Yes. That's what it was all about. Miss um, outpatient. Cause let me tell you something. I cried three times this you. week. Okay. Me. Oh my I cried. God. We all cried. When I tell you, I cried. I didn't really cry too much for Michael Jackson when he died. I think I did shed a tear. But Whitney Houston. Oh, I cried. I couldn't even get out of my car. That hurt me too. I was in my hard. kitchen. And the funny thing about it, all <laughs> three of us was Friday night and Red Lobster talking about Whitney Houston, and it was just a coincidence that next day. Less than 24 hours later, she was dying. I had just downloaded her radio station on Pandora. It's just like, so I, I, was, I, I was up to 4 o'clock in the morning watching her YouTube videos. Oh, were right, you? Yeah, yeah it's, oh. it's just watching. Then we almost have it all. She was so beautiful. Look at now. On the morning rain. And I watched the Oprah special last night again. Yeah, I Oprah used to that. feel so uninspired. No, I know that. I know, that, I know, that, I know that's not Whitney. That's a reason. Dun, dun, I know, but we're gonna let Whitney sing that. And when I used to. And when I used to, ah. when I, I, I thought I had Look. to face another day. Oh. So when these, um, when these, um. Funeral is tomorrow. You can watch it on the internet at twelve o'clock. You can watch it on TV. I think some yeah, stations so. might show the stream, mm -hmm. but I just think that. Let me tell you something. I'm I don't be real, see it. Be, have, uh, let me just say, if you have the CNN app on your phone, I'm sure you can watch the live stream. I'm gonna be real honest. I think that, I think that Whitney's family, they're doing too much to keep the public away. Us, I mean the public, us away from Whitney. 
Like, I think that Whitney should have been able to lie in state in New Jersey and have her friends, I mean, not friends, her fans, you know, walk by and pay their respects to Whitney. I understand. I seen a lady say, oh, well, you know, we gave you all 30 years of Whitney. Now it's time for us to have her and, and death or whatever. But we made that Whitney Houston, yes, that Whitney Houston, okay? And, you know, people are, you know, a lot of people are heartbroken over this. You know, a lot of people seem, you know, we don't know how Whitney died. But all we know is we were rooting for her. So that's what hurt even more. When you see Whitney doing so well, she was doing a Sparkle movie, doing all of these interviews. And then we see that Grammy week, you know, we like, what's going on? She's getting into a fight and then two days later she's gone. So we, we are broken. We want to know what's going on and why couldn't we... You know, get a chance to say goodbye. I would have loved. I would. I know I would have been to Newark to, you know, to go see her. We was I talking think, about it. Yeah, we was already planning to go, and I just think that that's so unfair to the fans that they're saying no, y'all, you can't come. And then, you know, they, I understand why they got six blocks blocked off, but at least have something for the fans. Something you don't even got to have Whitney's body in the arena. Let's just have a public memorial service. For Whitney Houston, let people get up there and talk about how her music saved their lives, or you know that you know you, everybody got a certain a song a time where they remember Whitney Houston or a song that takes them back to a certain era, and they like everybody has that, and I think it's such a robbery to take away from the fans. And then I was hating the stories of oh the family don't want to invite Bobby Brown to the funeral when she was married to Bobby Brown for 15 years. That's not something you could just throw away. That is the father of their of her child. But well, that like, was a rumor. That wasn't no. It, that then, was an unconfirmed then it was rumor. confirmed to TMZ that they did send him an invite. But to have all of that foolishness go on, yeah. But like I said, it, that was a, a mess. rumor. That was an unconfirmed a, rumor because family members came out a day after that was released and said that they never even had that even type of conversation about him not coming. So I, that was a rumor that somebody generated and it blew up to be something that it wasn't because I honestly don't believe that her family would say no you can't come when he was the father of her daughter and married to her for so and long. And you know what I, I don't think, think that would I don't, and, and another thing I don't think Bobby Brown should be on anybody's role touring and shit I think he needs to be with Bobby Christina so all mm -hmm. of that I think that that's that's like when you lose a parent the most important thing is you need to be with that other parent mm -hmm. you know to me I really think that because you need the support. You need to hear everything is going to be okay. You need that love and support. Not, I, I understand Bobby Brown don't have a lot of money. He got to do what he got to do. And he under contract. Think, it's a different but, when you under contract. But it, it should not matter. That's a death situation. That's a death in the family. I think that at the end of the day, he can make up those dates. People was not going to be mad they missed a Bobby Brown concert. I know, but at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, <laughs> no shame. tomorrow is still coming. He still got to, you know... Make us living for tomorrow. I, you, let me just say this. I understand what both of y'all are saying. I understand what Kevin's saying. Because, you know, and I understand what you're saying, too. This is how I feel about the public memorial thing. I, me, I would have loved to have went there. Yes. I would have loved to have been there. But at the same time, I, I, I didn't get upset when the family told the mayor of Newark. Because it was actually the mayor of Newark who decided to have a public memorial mm -hmm. without consulting the family. And the family said, no, 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 no. You can't do that and then not consult with us, you know. You and I think that was right. You, they, sh he should have said something to them. You, how do you think you're just gonna plan a memorial like that? Who, Chris, that, Chris Christie? He's the governor, sweetheart. Uh -huh. And and not you know consult with them. So he's the you know, of New, Jersey. New Jersey. And I love the fact that Chris Christie is no, having all the then then Yeah, then Chris I say about yeah, that. that was horrible too. But I think that the the public memorial thing that when when death occurs. Everything you said about the memorial, I agree with you 100%. And I love the idea about the fans getting up to speak. I love that. But I think that when death occurs like that with a family member, not a friend, not an artist, not a celebrity, but a, with a family member, that is something that a family needs to go, to, go through with each other. Each other. You know what I'm saying? Because that's a private matter. Yes, we are the ones who made Whitney Houston what she is. But that wasn't Whitney Houston to them. Like Marvin Winans said on CNN. She wasn't Whitney Houston to us. She was Nippy from New Jersey. That's who she was to us. We knew her before the world knew her. And so I understood that. Because 
It's not sometimes it's not all about us sometimes. You know, I feel as though if people want to memorialize her, then have something at your own church or go somewhere and and have something outside of her church. But I don't think people cuz Don Lemon was saying that people were criticizing her family on his Twitter page and on his Facebook. And I said that's not right because yeah, I, 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 you can't I don't want to you know, something about, like that. But you know? I do think that they should well, I don't yeah, think but they I mean, still but you know but that's something. yeah, but that's but I think that the family is doing more than enough by, by allowing a TV camera to be inside that church. Mm -hmm. And then to have it streamed live on the internet. Because when you think about it, the family don't have to do none of that. They don't. they don't have to do none of that. But they're allowing it to be streamed on TV and they're having two big screens outside of the church where the fans wow. are. So the fans who are outside can watch from it. From a six blocks away because they're not... They're well, not no, no, it's the, not six blocks. It's two blocks two away. Blocks. The funeral home is six blocks away from the church. I heard they was blocking off six blocks. They're blocking the off the six blocks from the funeral home to the church. Oh, route to the church. So, yeah, there. but the fans are going to be two blocks away from the church. And so they're allowing two big screens to be out there for them so they can see it. I just think that the family is doing no, more than enough because really they don't have to do that. I want to be out there. I, I, I First of all, I'm not standing outside to watch a jump around, but I can be in the house. How you doing? At the end of the day, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's when y'all. <laughs> well, some of those people, probably, I'm sorry, but some of those people probably actually live in that neighborhood, so I'm probably don't bother them. Well, at the end of the day, we just gotta respect. The family, family wishes. I do. I do just, respect it. Like, I do wish. Hopefully, you know, shit. Let's respect That's the wishes. That's Whitney. Fucking, you can just watch it it is Whitney. And you're right. It is Whitney Houston. It is Whitney Houston. But you know what? At the end of the day, at the end of the day, that was Whitney Houston to us, but that was mm -hmm. Sissy Houston's, Houston's daughter. daughter. And so, Bobby therefore, let, and let her <laughs> grieve. Let her do what she wants to do with her daughter. Because now it's not about us. It's about that family. You see, what I'm I saying think, I think they're saying no as a backlash because of all the you know the negative press that Whitney's been getting lately. Saying and no to who? Like CNN and I don't know. I think they only said the Associated Press can have, okay, a, have camera a camera in there. In there. It's so funny. That's, that's the way they're going. I to haven't heard nothing there. bad about it since she passed. You, you haven't heard nothing about bad about Whitney? No, no, I haven't. I've well, been. What news oh, oh, station? What news channel home. are you watching so I can turn to it? Because all from, been, from Saturday <laughs> night to tonight. Oh, that's all I've heard. I've was been all hearing. Stuff. I, I've been hearing all good stuff about Whitney, and even though it included, you know, her past with Bobby Brown with drugs and stuff, nobody never, nobody hasn't said nothing bad. No, but you know what? But you know what? You know what? I, you know what? Because you said something earlier before we started recording, and I agree. With you, yes, her past is a part of her life. It yes, is. it is, and you know you she said that on the interview, and okay. she said that on the interview. I think she even mentioned that in an Oprah interview. You know that past, it, it got her through where she was today in life. Mm -hmm. But let me just say this: when you turn on CNN and Fox News and all those channels, and you hear people like Nancy Grace and Bill O'Reilly and Gene Simmons from Kiss, let's not talk about Nancy Grace. When you, hear, like when you hear them say stuff. <laughs> Oh, she was a drug addict, and she was this, and she was that. Excuse me, she was over. She was a former drug addict. Okay, that nobody had any type of proof that she was still doing drugs today, and we still don't have any type of proof that she was still doing drugs today. Because according to the guy, the coroner who even examined her body, he said himself that the drugs in her room wasn't even enough for her to even overdose on. He said, "I probably have more drugs in my on my own house than she did in her room." So suicide was not even the you know mm -hmm. the the option for that. She was, and I think a lot of people. Her. I think a lot of people were just harping on the fact that oh why are we celebrating this woman who did all these drugs for all these years? Why not? You said when Nancy? No no no. I'm just no. There are people that were out uh -huh. there saying that. You know, and, and Bill Riley, Bill O'Reilly tried to make a point about how she was doing. So what? This is somebody who passed. Yes, she did drugs. She overcame that, and she was getting her life to back together. But you don't hear none of them saying that. They want to keep harping on the fact how she was a drug addict when she was a drug addict when she was married to Bobby Brown. Let it go. I wonder That's, how they're going to remember Charlie Sheen when he passed, mm -hmm. and they're going to talk about his drug history and everything. Oh, you know, but then and Lindsay Lohan. Yeah, she could be next. I just hope this is a wake up call for a lot of It should be a, it a should be a wake up call. Yeah. And Wendy sure. Williams said something so something that stuck out to me on Monday. She said, if you know somebody that's doing drugs, call them out so they don't gotta sneak around and do it. You rather call them out, let them be mad at you now, then grieve over their dead bodies. Blaming yourself for not calling them out. Call yeah, them out. But you know what, you can always call somebody out, but it's up to them if they wanna change. Yeah. Because in Whitney Houston's interview with Diane Sawyer and with Oprah, she said that how her mother in, in the late 90s came to her house 
one, one time and tried to get her to stop doing what she was doing. And she told her mother to go away. She said to go No, no, she said that on Diane's story. Yeah, she told her to go away because if you don't go away, I'm going to take my daughter away. See, some people, you can call them out on it all you want to, but it's up to them to change. I agree with Wendy. You should call people out. But just because she you call them out changing. does not mean that it's going to happen. She didn't right say nothing about changing. She said, yeah, but I'm going to sneak around and do but, it. No did you see yeah, but then, sneak but, around. then what's the point? Because what, what's the point? What My thing is, if you're going to call them out, sometimes you could be calling somebody out and they're not sneaking around and doing it. You see what I'm saying? I think somebody who's sneaking around and doing it is somebody who's doing it and I have no clue that they're doing it. Because then how am I going to call somebody out on something that I don't know that they're doing? You right. see what I'm saying? Right. So, I mean, I just think that... Okay, you can call them out all you want to, but are they going to listen to you? Hell no, they're going to do They're going to continue to do it to their friend. They're going to do what that drug tell them to do. Yeah. Because their mind is talking to them. They can't think. You got to get, they'll only get help when they want help. Being hooked on drugs is a, is a disease, and it takes a lot. Like she said, she said, oh, I'm drug free, but do I have urges? Yes, it's one day at a time, it's step it by step. You need support, but you never fully get over anything because you'll always have that 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 second mind telling you to do something. Mm -hmm. I can't wait till tomorrow come and go so Whitney Houston can finally rest. Oh, she's not going to rest for a long time. But just look just, how long Michael Jackson thing lingered on. And we still talk about. And we still talk about Michael Jackson. Well, he, 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 that's good that he's still being talked about. He's not forgotten, but you know maybe no, huh? she can. You know, well, Michael she, Jackson will never be forgotten about. But I think yeah. the whole drug situation with him taking the drug that's still because they compare Michael Jackson to Whitney Houston now, and you know what's so. Eerie. She compared it to yeah, well, Oprah. Yeah, yeah, she did. That's what I was about to say. But it was so eerie how when she was talking to Oprah and how she, com you know, she was saying how Michael Jackson. She said not both that. of us. That is crazy. It's funny because I was just I was watching the timeline and I remember I was explaining to my coworker how it's a difference between Michael Jackson and Whitney Houston because our parents grew up to Michael Jackson, but they grew up with Whitney. Mm -hmm. So when your parents grow up with somebody, it's like. You growing up, you know, you mm -hmm. you looking up to him too. Mm -hmm. I remember the hairstyles and you know the songs and the clothes and stuff. Oh my god, I remember my mom used to love that song. She used to dance to it. It's just like real crazy. And yeah. somebody said to me, "Oh my god, like you act like you knew her." Well, in so many yeah. words, I did know her. I don't know the person around the corner, but I know Whitney. I can tell you everything yeah, about I Whitney. Think, I thought everybody would know Whitney. I know, but somebody said to me, "Oh my god, like what about people that die every day?" We don't know people that die every day, mm -hmm. but we know Whitney Houston because she's been in the spotlight since I was a little kid. Mm -hmm. It was always Whitney Houston, Whitney Houston, Whitney Houston, Whitney Houston. And it's funny because as I get older, her lyrics stick out to me more. Like, I was listening to um, My Love Is Your Love, mm -hmm. and I'm like, wow. When I was younger, I just liked the beat, and it was Whitney Houston, but I'm like, wow, like, if tomorrow's Judgment Day, blase, blase, like, it's, it's you just You know, so I was crazy. listening to I Will Always Love You, and it that song to me now has a whole new meaning. It's a breakup. It's a breakup song. Yeah, but now it has a whole new meaning to it. When you really listen to it, I it didn't know that thing. though. It was a breakup song. That's that's why I'm like it's a breakup song. Like I didn't know that until after she passed, and I love Whitney the Death. I just I would always love you. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't you, know. You did Be not beat know. me up, kill me, take my hand. You did not me. know I was always love you was a breakup song. No. Because it was not looked at like a breakup song. What rock have you been I'm living under? Yes. I mean, let me tell you, it's funny because even Baby she's dead. And she's dead. And everybody keeps saying, I will always love you, referring back to that song. But I'm like, it's a breakup song. You know what I'm saying? That's a signature song. Yeah. But how does the line go? Uh, I will only be in your way. So I'll go. But... I know. I'll think of you every step of the way. You, you didn't know that she was leaving. That's her leaving. I, I, what I, do you think she was leaving? The sky? Beat me up. Like I just said, as I get older, me, I've realized now that, you know, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm listening to oh, lyrics sorry, in the song. Sorry, but you know, I should have kicked you in your head. You shouldn't kick me in my head. You want to live, don't you? Yeah. All right. Ooh. Ooh. You people with me. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. It's too early for the jokes. Don't do it. <laughs> but, um... Rest in peace, Whitney. I know yeah. I will always love you. And we all will love Whitney. Yes. I can't wait to watch it tomorrow. Me. Yeah. And shout out to Fantasia. Oh, yeah. Oh, Fantasia. Preached that. Oh, she, she preached, preached that. that. Yeah, she, she, she told it she like relate. it was supposed to be. <laughs> she told it like it was supposed to be. And you know when she's told that? I had to stop and say to myself, you know what, Lord? I apologize for any negative things I've said about people like that in that type of way, including Fantasia. Because you don't know. Like she said, you don't know. And sometimes when the story comes to you, it has been changed over and over again before you get... You know how like that game we used to play when we were young? Where you whisper in somebody's ear mm -hmm. and you see what, what is said by the time it gets back Whisper to down the lane. 
Is that what it was called? That's what it was called. <laughs> <laughs> I never heard of that game. You we, never played that we, game? We do that game at work, and then when always you, get back to The first person, it's like you're in a circle, and the first person whispers something in the ear, and then that person whispers what you told them in the ear, and by the time we get back to the end of the person, home. you got to see if what you said was related, and if it wasn't, that's when you know somebody, somebody down the line and mess something up, and that's how it is. So when mm. stories like that about people happen, it always changes about 55,000 times before the truth, and sometimes when it gets to the last person, the truth is never in there. Mm. Never in there. And Fantasia was speaking nothing but the truth. Now I gotta ask you, where the hell you been at when you ain't never played that game before? Playing um, King Ball and playing um, Tag and football and basketball oh, and baseball. Oh, Mm -hmm. What? Right. What? Don't think of me. <laughs> I didn't say nothing, but yeah, that's, that's just crazy. So, <sighs> Janet Jackson is rumored to be joining <laughs> the X Factor. Janet fucking Jackson. <laughs> Let me tell you. Where's my phone? Oh, I approve. Phone? I approve of Janet Jackson joining the X Factor. My only thing is, I'm gonna need her to say it like she mean it. <laughs> I don't need the, well, you know, that was beautiful. I don't need that type Wait, of Wait, what'd you say, Janet? Well, you know. I, oh, I can't hear you. Speak up. That was like, expect I don't need Janet. Oh, to you me. said I can stay until I next need week? Janet. <laughs> you said you voted for me, Janet? Speak up. Into the mic. Okay. I'm going to need Janet to be like she was on. Uh, Hello? Hello? Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to call you. All right. Oh, thank God I wasn't saying nothing nasty because that was my mom. <laughs> I was just about to say something nasty. I just want Janet to go back to why did I get married and she was loud. So, you want that's, to know the, what? that's the type of Janet I need. Mean. I what? don't need that baby talk, okay? What? Remember when she <laughs> pulled that fucking golf club out? Oh, yeah. That's the Janet I need. Oh, why when I she was married? doing them MTV things. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> she she that's said, what I need. Mom, I don't you, if you ever, speak to me like that again! Wait, what I miss? What you doing? Oh, you mean, oh, those commercials was epic. Oh, those commercials. Those commercials. <laughs> Janet went in there, and she said, come on, I need you guys to rehearse. I don't feel like rehearsing. Uh, what? Okay. If you ever, speak to me like that again! I was like, yes, but you better go all Janet. So, yeah, I don't even know how to speak up, but she, I think she'd make a good judge. I but I, I think Wait, I they had to say be... before it started to cut you off, but they say some Whitney was rumored to be, you know, a judge. But which X Factor are we talking about? We talking about the one in London? Oh, this US. 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 Oh. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I, 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 I don't know. But I did, I did throw a Whitney name out there. Well, they said, the they said that Simon was had a meeting scheduled with Whitney Houston to talk about possibly being a judge on there. But why, why did he give her the parlor, though? I thought that was his ace boom coon. Well, he didn't they, get rid of her. He they, said they, they fired her. They Fox. The, the Fox News fired her. He said if it was up to but him, he it, wouldn't have fired her. But it's her. a show. So? Yeah, but it's their network. And without them, he can't have a show on their network. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, okay. Would well, you think he just did it by his dancer? So since <laughs> since Mariah is not going to do it no more, my pick was Mariah not was, doing it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It was Tony, Whitney, Janet, Pink, or Kelly Rowland. They can feel it. But then I was oh now, now I'm thinking crazy how we were saying Whitney on our last video and yeah. Yeah. before she died. That's really it's just so crazy. Now, now okay, then it's, I think that's why it hurts so bad. It does hurt because we were just like really talking about her. My only thing now is that you can't have too many black people on America. I mean, on um, X Factor. They're gonna have to whiten it up somewhere. Okay, <laughs> Simon can't be the only one. So I think Pink or Fergie or somebody Katy Perry. Her. She would be great. Hey, Fergie, I can see. You know what? I can see Fergie. Mm -hmm. You know what? That would be great. L. A. Reid, Janet Jackson, Fergie, and Simon. That would be the ultimate judging thing. Yeah, I'll I'll pro I would probably stop watching American Idol and watch them. I don't even watch American Idol. I don't either. I don't watch American Idol. I, don't I, don't, I know the top 24 is supposed to be next week. I, the last time I watched American Idol, I think it was like the second time, the second day it aired when he was doing the audition. A lot of people don't watch it when it change. That's what anything. Yeah. That's what the talk show, 106 in Park. The, the worst talk show change I've seen is two of them. When they got rid of Judge Maybelline and when they got rid of Mother Love from Forgive or Forget. Oh, oh my God. God. Remember so Forgive or Forget? Forget. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> I missed that 
show. Oh, they need to bring that one back. When I turned on the TV one day and Robin Givens was on there, I said, hold up. Because <laughs> you know, you didn't really know Mother so Love. Fast, but see, Mother Love, like, she introduced her stuff on that show and, like, you fell in love with her. Mm hmm. Robin Gibbons, I was never really a big Robin Gibbons fan anyway. And they gonna get rid of her. And then they got rid of her for Robin Gibbons. I was like, that's not, that ain't cool, Jack. Mother Love was that show. Mm -hmm. That's why right after that, there was no more Forgive and Forget. Yeah, but that thing got canceled, right? Mm -hmm. I think after the, right after Robin Gibbons joined. How cool, long was that on TV, though? That was like 11 years ago. No, I'm saying how long was it on TV? Probably like two years. Cause she did one season and then it was Robin Gibbons. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I was about to say she had to do more than one season. Yeah, I think she did do more than one season. Well, it's on it's Wikipedia. Let me Wikipedia it. But anyway, y'all, you know, we about to get ready to get up out of here. Oh, yeah, Brandy and Monica. I do have something I want to say about that. Yeah. I want to know why people are not buying the single. It's not Do y'all think it's whack? Because <laughs> I like it now. I really do. I'm rooting for Brandy and Monica. I, I want both of their albums to do great. Well, you think it'll do good now that they performed it live? Or people are just... They did good. It? Did you see it? They, they, no, they, I heard they do good. I heard they did do good. Mm. It's not. It's, 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 I listened to the song ten times last night. Because I, I missed them on Jay Leno. But it was on YouTube like probably two minutes after. And I watched it. I listened to it on YouTube. I watched the performance. And I'm really, really not feeling the song. And I'm like, damn. You know, can I just say something? You look like the type that uh, watch something ten times. It was on for two seasons. And it's still not it. it was on for three seasons. Mid in the middle of the third girl. season, Who's Mother Love uh, joined the show. Who's Are y'all? You listening? What? Don't play with me. <laughs> Don't play with me. <laughs> what did you say? Mother I Love? said the show was on for three seasons. And Mother Love, how long was she on? She Ooh. Mother Love was on for two and a half seasons. Oh, and they got and rid then, of her in the middle of the season. Yeah, and then they canceled the show. It must have been something going on if they got rid of her in the middle of the season, or did she leave? I don't know. I, you know what? I'm gonna go home and YouTube initially, uh, Forgive and Forget. Initially, a high rated series, ratings began to drop off after Forgive and Forget second season. Producers decided to revamp the series and replace Host Mother Love with Robin Gibbons on January 17th. What year? 1991. 2000. Oh, 2000. The new revamp format, which featured a more com confrontational style and structure and mm -hmm. more and traditional chairs, guests, and who. Child. You know what that reminded me of? It reminded me of an updated version of um, Love Connection. So basically, it was on for three seasons. The first season, it did good. The second season, it went down. So they switched Get the out. to Robin Givens and then but they canceled the whole show yeah. after it. Yeah. After she couldn't get the um, format. She, she couldn't get the ratings up. Mm. Y'all remember Jenny Jones? <laughs> she is so long ago. She got a YouTube show. She teaches people how to open up stuff and cook and stuff. You, Jenny, Jenny Jones? Jones? Yeah, Jenny, Jenny Jones is really Jones, old yeah. too, but she looks good. She doesn't got her face mm -hmm. lifted probably. Well, I'm talking about when she was on her shows, mm -hmm. when she was on the Jenny Jones show, she was like in her late 40s and stuff. The she only thing like I didn't like about Jenny Jones, it kept going from geek to chic, geek to chic. Like, the shows mm -hmm. kept being the same. Yeah. But that's like but, Maury. Yeah, but Maury, his ratings is... Oh, and people now watch the trash. Yeah, they do. That's why Jerry Springer. And, and, and so people long. got the nerve to talk about loving hip hop and basketball wise, <laughs> which comes on Monday. <laughs> and y'all watch Marvin mm -hmm. every day. Every day. And you do the same shit. Every and your day. ass is Wait, still watching. You be on the radio, they're like, say it, Maury, say it, Maury. You are not the father. <laughs> I'm like, what's so funny about that? It is funny. Because them bitches be like, yes, he is my baby father. Look at his nose. Just like him. Look at his nose. Look at his eye. You are not the father. How you gonna tell me that's not my baby father? How you gonna tell me I didn't sleep with him? Wait, y'all remember Marisol? She had to be like, who? Guinness Book of World Records. It's been no more. She was on the Oh, the black ladies? No, she was. Puerto Rico, Marisol. I don't know, I don't know Marisol. She was on there probably like I don't know. Marisol I don't know. and Georgia. I don't know her. I don't, is Georgia the black lady that came? Georgia the black lady. Got had a baby, had, got raped, had a sex party. She didn't get raped, she was at a sex party, had sex for 30 minutes, still can't find them baby <laughs> of the father. <laughs> Okay, that bitch has been on it like 20 times. <laughs> you still can't and find still it. can't find it. You need to just let it go. <laughs> okay? Just okay. say you got a sperm dog. Okay? That was crazy. Mm-mm-mm. Ladies, ladies, I, before, we, before we close this show, I do want to say something. Ladies, be careful on who you spread your legs to and make the father of your child. Because mm -hmm. something very sad happened in Philly a couple days ago. Oh. The father killed his mo the oh, mother of their isn't child that horrible? Oh my because God. she was six months pregnant with, with his child. child. And he couldn't take it. He was 19, she was 23. He shot her in the head. And killed her. Mm -hmm. And mind you, they already had two kids together. Like, 
He probably, I, it's no excuse. He shot if her you, because she was proud of rather you, his child. I would rather you be a deadbeat dad than to go kill your mo the mother of your children because you're mad that she's upset with another child of yours. Let me tell you something. 2012 in Philadelphia has not been a great It's been like 40 something murders. It's 49, probably 50 with the, the baby. 50 murders and it's only February 15th. 15. We no. 17. 17. We yeah. have to do better. Like, it, it's just, it's real this sad. This city is disgusting. It, and you know what? I saw um, on the side of this police car downtown outside of my job, on the side of the police door, it had police recruit call this number. Why the hell would I ever want to be a police officer in this city? And now I wouldn't want to be a police officer in any city. But why in this city? This is we like, do, but we do need more people. I don't yeah, but they do. But look how these people in the city of Philadelphia have no type of regards for for police police officers at all. This like the respect level has went down for police officers. You know why? Because there's a lot of people who say that police officers are abusive, verbally, physically abusive, and some of them, that, are. Some of them are. And they mess it up for they all the good away, ones. And it messes up for the they good get away ones. With a lot. But yeah, they do get. They definitely do get away with a lot. But you know what? If those police officers were not there, not the abusive ones, but if we didn't have police officers, this city would be way more out of control than what it is now. Fifty murders, and it's only February seventeenth. That is, that is, that, that Fifty is people disgusting. have been murdered in this city. It's disgusting. It is so disgusting. And it's sad. A lot of it is just like. And a lot of them are young. They say a lot of them. A lot of the killings are over arguments. Mm. And I still to this day can't get over those four people who shot that delivery man over a box of mm -hmm. pizza. It's, 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 we can we can go on and on about you know it's just crazy. It's, just, it's disgusting. And people wonder why I don't well, ladies, pay attention. Why the hell? Be, I don't be careful when y'all spread your legs too and make the father your child. Please. Just I've been telling you that a long time anyway. If you can't if you can't see yourself marrying him, don't open up your legs. But some of them don't look that far. And they don't care. And yeah, some of them don't look that far and they don't care. But then when they get pregnant, oh my god. He ain't doing nothing. Yeah. You don't never you don't never come to pick up your son. <laughs> well, you you mean to tell me you didn't figure that out when he wasn't picking up his other son? Girl! He he needs not pick up your son if he wasn't picking up his other son. You know, child. These do work. No, these ain't mine. I mean, these are mine. Let me see. I'm not using them. Wow. Extra small. <laughs> 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 Wait, but no, he tried it. He tried, he tried. <laughs> Excuse he tried. me. No. Let me see these condoms real quick. You know, Let me. he tried it. it Extra. I ain't tried. He said that wasn't his. <laughs> he did say that, did they? No, well, they are mine, but I was just trying to be smart. Wait. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> the, oh, no. The only reason why I, I I don't I don't I don't feel I don't feel. They say June 2012, but I want something with a longer expiration date than that. Well, when did you get them? No, I did. I picked them up because I was in the bar. They well, they probably bar. had them for a while. That's probably why. Yeah, they, and they all they all got the date on them. Yeah, but, they probably had them for a while. Like in these right here, you might could use the lube, Mikel. But um, fucking <laughs> 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 tried it. You fucking tried it. You loose booty. I am not loose about this. All it is. But oh, it won't be loose if you keep messing with that boy's man. Mm. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Oh no. I want them to work it out. I hate lying. Oh, this is and this is August 2013. Ooh, I hate non-lubricated condoms. Mm. But this what the lube for. You won't need it anyway. Right? Huh? I mean, give me that. Mm -hmm. Uh-uh, y'all don't need Ah, you gonna pop my button on my good shirt! Do you don't need do that! <laughs> why you get why you gonna get myself in the And these are these are non lubricated for a reason. Wow. Because they want you to suck things with a condom on. And when you suck them, you taste Honey. strong oh. berry flavor. Oh. Yeah, for those who suck things with condoms on, you get a flavor. <laughs> That's another meaning to lick, 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 lick like a lollipop. Uh, oh, crazy. Mm. So, thank y'all for watching. I got to get up out of here. I got to get ready to go to DC. Yes, it was good being back on the show. Shout out to Kevin and Mikhail for having me back on. Yes. Shout out to. Their fans, the guys that watch the show, they showed me so much love for the first time. And to the ladies out there He's that got baby fathers that want to take care of their kids, let him take care of his child. Stop worrying about their child support money. Yes. Love uh, over money. Stop worrying about his girlfriend. Oh, he can't go with you because you got a girlfriend. He don't want you. He want her. Let him take care of the child.
Yeah. That's all I gotta say. I'm back, Daniel. Woo woo! Oh, I got the remote now. Yeah.